Get ready to match the stars. Larry Hovis, Brett Summers, Charles Nelson Riley, Patty Deutsch, Richard Dawson, and Madeline Rue as we play the star-studded Big Money Match Game 74. And now here's the host of Match Game 74, Gene River. Okay out there. Are you okay up here? All of us old kids on the block ought to uh, give a personal welcome to the new kids on the block, Larry Hovis and Madeline Rue. Nice to have the two of you with us. I know um, as our regular here, Richard Dawson uh, appeared for uh, many years on Hogan's Heroes and The Laugh In. Larry did too. Uh, no, but I <laughs> they told me you'd be that way. Listen, what are you doing now, Larry? I haven't seen you lately. I've been studying electronics. <laughs> really? <laughs> Is that a hobby, or are you going to really go in that profession? No, I'm going into politics. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> It's gonna be one of those weeks. Yeah. All right, Madeline, now you're in a movie of the week, aren't you? Yes, I am. When is that? Is that gonna be soon? Yeah, uh, sometime in January. All right. She we'll look forward to it. enough, Bill, she could be in two movies of the week. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> one this way and It'll one be way. show and tell time later. <laughs> now we better get on with the game. Let's welcome our two players, Dorothy Zinni and Harry Reynolds. Hello there. Um, Harry is our current champ. He has won three games and has a total of $650 to his credit. And he was challenged by Dorothy, and uh, the game ended in a tie. So we had to go to the tiebreaker. Dorothy, last time, went through her question and matched one celebrity. And now it's all up to Harry. If he matches one, it'll be tie. Only one will have to go to another tiebreaker. But if he matches two, he will win the game. Are you both ready? Yeah. We're ready. Okay. All right, Dorothy's a very exuberant lady, uh, and no, I've everybody calmed down. would. You, you've calmed down. I, I oh. did. All right. Well, we, if she wins, we all take cover. <laughs> <laughs> Great. All right, we'll go to this uh, second half of this tiebreaker right after this message. All right, here we go to the second half of this tiebreaker. I'll push the button and reveal the question we've got for Harry. Remember, Harry, one to tie, two to win. Everybody will play. As soon as Larry walked into the elevator, everybody could tell he needed a blank. <laughs> as soon as Larry walked into the elevator, everybody could tell he needed a blank. I told you about those hard questions. That's an easy one. Well, tiebreakers now, you know, we gotta be careful here because we wanna be fair to everyone, and we are. Aren't we fair to everyone? Yeah, yes. Yeah, right. How are you? Fine, thank you. That's right. <laughs> Brett, we're waiting, you know. Oh, I know it, and I don't have a thing to say. Have you been sick? No, you're all right. <laughs> okay, here we go. Harry, as soon as Larry walked into the elevator, everybody could tell he needed a bath. <laughs> a bath. You think that's a good answer? All right, we'll find, I don't know whether it's good or bad. It sounds good to me. How's it sound to you, Larry? I didn't even know he was on that elevator. <laughs> I said shave. A shave. Okay, he's looking for the answer, bath, Brett. I think bath is a terrific answer, I really do. But as usual, yeah. <laughs> I didn't say, I said doctor. As soon as you got on. I don't know why I said I don't know why you said that either. <laughs> I couldn't think of anything. Charles, give us a good well, answer. When Larry got on the elevator, he was going for a laugh, and so was I. He needed a pair of pants. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right, no uh, bath yet. Are you going to bath, uh, bathe, Larry? <laughs> uh, well, I think somebody at best. I said bath. That ties a score. Okay. You got two more people to count on here, Harry. One bath from either one of them, and you win the game. Richard? Present. <laughs> I just dozed up. It's a tense moment, Richard. Yes, the beard was on the outside when the elevator's uh, closed. He needed uh -oh. a shave. Shave. Yeah, little devil. Okay, oh, Madeline, it's up to you. A bath wins need a game. A shave. shave, and we end up in another tie. Oh, 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 oh
on. All right, now, you said you were calm down now. You're calm, you're calm now, right? Uh-huh. All right, I'll push the button and see what happens. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, there it is, okay. Okay. All right, you ready, Dorothy? Oh, yes, I'm gonna go with, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take B. You want B? Yeah. All right, she wants B, Harry. <laughs> Is that all right with you? <laughs> okay. Oh, I forgot, we gotta wipe the slate clean. Yeah. Shazam. Don't give him an extra. There it is, okay, no. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly not. <laughs> Are you ready? Everybody plays. Oh. <laughs> Dirty Harry. Oh. Had a ring around his blank. <laughs> Dirty Harry had a ring around his blank. Gotcha. <laughs> what are you guys laughing at then? Oh, all right. Dirty Harry had a ring around his blank. Think about that, Dorothy. Oh, I did. And we'll see what ours. All right, all the celebrities are ready, so we'll call on Dorothy for her response. Dirty Harry had a ring around his... Collar, but he doesn't. It, uh, I just was saying oh, that. just because his name is Harry. Harry. He doesn't. Yeah. No, he's clean. The Harry Collar. Ran, very clean living fellow there. All right, collar is what she says. Larry, what do you say? I say she just doesn't know how to have a good time. <laughs> uh, I said body. A ring around his body. Okay, collar is her answer. Brett, what's yours? Ring around the collar. You know that phrase. Oh, of course I do. Uh, I hope there's a doctor in the house because I don't think Dorothy's going to hang on much longer. <laughs> now, Dorothy, you've got to get it together. Oh, yeah. I, I said tub. Tub. <laughs> Collar. Yes. <laughs> Charles. I wish I'd. If the camera would quickly go off my answer right onto Dorothy, <laughs> you would find out the Anna Magnani School of Acting. Oh! Oh, Collar. oh yeah. That's a match. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, just three more. There's one for you. Dude. Yeah. Now let's see what this girl's going to do for you. Oh, well, I'm afraid I think Dorothy needs a rest because I said a ring around his oh. nose. Ring around his nose. Okay, Richard. If you'll watch closely, Dorothy will now do an impression of Gene Cooper. Oh! <laughs> Hello. <laughs> okay. Now, if you look closely, I don't think I can take it. Oh! Oh! Great! Great magic! That's yeah! it. Well, you got half of them now. All right. Now, it's up to Harry. Harry, three to tie, four to win. Okay. Now, I'm serious about that, Doctor. If there's one step, get your name right. up here. Here we go. Rocco spent his entire prison term teaching his pet mouse to play blank. <laughs> Rocco spent his entire prison term teaching his pet mouse to play blank. Brett was the first one finished. And that's the first time ever. Oh, right. Tear it up and do another one. Okay. He's thinking about it, and he'll have a good answer. We know that. Because old Harry's a good player. Okay, now they're all finished, Harry. So you think about this. Rocco spent his entire prison term teaching his pet mouse to play... Dead. To play dead. What? <laughs> Cheerful thought. <laughs> he said to play dead. Larry, what do you say? I almost said post office. <laughs> but I said poker. Play poker. Yeah. All right, Brett, we call on you. you only that uh, you teach your roommate in jail to play post office, not your pet mouse. What do you teach your pet mouse? You teach him to play poker. Oh, poker, okay. <laughs> play dead is Harry's answer. Charles, Harry, what's I'm you? sorry, but I guess you never had one. Poker. <laughs> poker. All right, you got to match all three celebrities on the bottom to stay in the game, Harry. What do you say? I said he spent all his time teaching his pet mouse how to play going home on the harmonica. Going home, so there he is. Well, Harry, we've got to say goodbye to you, but you're not leaving empty-handed because you won $650, and we congratulate you, Harry Reynolds. Come on, Harry. We'll be right back after this message.